The race holds a really special place in my heart because uh, it's actually the first race that I can remember as a kid that my dad, you know, always mentioning, I want to do Pikes Peak Hill Climb, Pikes Peak this, Pikes Peak that. This mountain is not just a race to the top, but it's a race between yourself, and it's a matter of how far you can push yourself as a driver. This year with Grady Performance and Racing Hankook, uh, we have our drift car and we're in Time Attack 1 class. We have two other FRSs in the race, and I just want to be the fastest FRS up here and uh, hopefully finish within the podium spot in our class. So when I got the invitation to run Pikes Peak with our drift car, I mean, obviously I was extremely excited, but that was uh, an extremely short notice. So the car we took up to Pikes Peak this year is actually our uh, drift car from last year that we campaigned in Formula D. The car was basically prepared between round two, three, and four. But as soon as we got here, we flew in straight from Formula D, New Jersey. During practice on Monday, we had some mechanical issues with the motor. Ended up having to pull the motor out and overnight our spare backup motor. Now the, the main concern was to, to prepare the car running for the hill climb with no engine spare. I can't just stand around and watch my team do all the work while I mope around and do nothing. Having that team camaraderie when you're working on the car, when something goes wrong especially, is what, what shows. You know, what happens when something goes wrong? Like, how is the team going to react? And within our team, I think we have a great effort with each team member doing their own part. Wednesday morning, our spare motor arrived to a Revolution Performance while we were doing all our maintenance. And um, scrambled to get the car together on the dyno by Wednesday night. The mood changed when the engine uh, was back in and we fired it up and got it on the dyno and ran decent numbers. One thing was we were able to go back out and practice on Thursday. Uh, Thursday morning we brought the car to practice in the middle section. Uh, did one run. saw some oil pressure issues, so we pulled off the mountain, took it straight to a PPIR, did some warrant maintenance, ended up moving the oil cooler from the bottom of the car to the front, uh, tried to bring in more air to the radiator, did a little shakedown at, at the track, brought the race car to practice Friday morning to run the upper section, and found out that um, we had no more issues. Going into the main race, we just have to cross our fingers and pray that the car can handle 12.4 miles and uh, 156 treacherous corners, and that we'll be smiling at the peak.
more than anything though, you know, we had a rough week. Uh, we had a lot of mishaps, but everyone with our partners, you know, Hankook, Garrett, Sion, and obviously my team, Dreddy, they did a, an amazing job getting the car back together for a main race day and uh, we had a pretty good performance, so pretty happy. Third place, car number 86, with a time of 10 minutes, 30 seconds, point one eight eight. Ken Gusha.